you want beautiful, you want fast, and you want medically significant venom, I give you the Featherleg Baboon. Hi and welcome back to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. This is an invert. This is a stroma to palma calcetium, the feather leg baboon tarantula. And it comes from West Africa. So it's from Senegal all the way down to Angolia. Um, they're a boreal tarantula and in the wild they will make their homes in tiny little hollows in the side of the trees. In fact, the smaller the hole, the better it is for them because they like to feel nice and compact and tight and snug and they'll web up all the inside and they'll be quite happy in there. And they'll only come out when they want food. In fact, they prefer the food to come to them. So when you, if you're keeping one of these at home, do not expect to see it very often. Um, but in the wild, they will experience temperatures of between 23 to 27 degrees Celsius through the day and at night time 20 to 24. Now it is worth noting that the humidity they prefer is around 70 to 80 percent. I keep mine at 70 percent. I'll show you guys how to do that in just one moment. But like I said, like I've just said, bear in mind these guys are old worlds, they're fast, they're defensive with medically significant venom. So they're not a beginner tarantula. You really do need some experience behind you before thinking about getting one of these tarantulas um, in your collection. Um, in fact, the bite from one of these and the venom is, is, a, is reportedly one of the most painful bites of all tarantulas. And that is saying something. When you think how, how powerful Pokies, Polythi area um, bites are and HMAC, that these guys are absolutely up there. So be very, very careful if you're, if you're thinking about getting a feather leg. Um, the females mature around five to six years and they can grow up to six to seven inches and they can live up to 15 years. The males, on the other hand, they mature between two to four, four years. They can grow up to five inches on rare occasions, but they're more around the four to 4.5 inch and they can live up to 4.5 years. Now the pictures that I've shown you behind me were all done and all taken on a rehouse um, and in a holding box, um, which I'll put it in before it goes, before it went over into its new enclosure. Um, it's also a juvenile, so it's a large juvenile. I've got about another year to go before mine reaches adulthood. In fact, I've actually got four at the same size at the moment. So give it a couple of years. I am gonna try and breed these. Uh, God help me. <laughs> but yeah, with all that said, let me take you over now and show you the very, very simple boreal setup that I've created for my um, featherleg baboon tarantula. So guys, this is my very, very simple setup. Piece of cork bark, about two inches of substrate, and in fact, there she is, ready, look, giving a threat pose. Just, pure, just purely because I've taken the lid off the top of her enclosure. Um, I've just sprayed her, just spray her down quite heavily, once a week. And remember to keep a water dish, because they do like to pop out and have a drink every now and again. And that's how you, that's how you keep your humidity up. Such a simple, simple setup. But again, guys, on rehousing, be very, 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 very careful because they do have that med medically significant venom, which is exceptionally painful. So that was the Stromer to Palma Calcetium. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one. Feather the baboon!